The campaign to ease visa restrictions for Australian workers in Britain is gaining momentum, as half of those who want to live there are currently prevented from doing so. Ministers are being pressured to approve a new scheme for nations that have the Queen as head of state, but who don't have the same visa rights as Europeans. Nick Puero is about to jump on a plane back to Australia, but he's a reluctant traveller. Not impressed. I, uh, I love it over here. It's so much fun. Don't think my time's up in London, but because of the visa, I have to leave. Like thousands of young Australians, he's limited to a two-year stay in the UK on a youth mobility visa. Most skilled expats who want to stay away from home longer can't. The cost of sponsorship is often too high for the small businesses they work for. If you've got some sort of trade or qualification or you know a university degree behind you, it's just, it seems a bit crazy that they can just send you home after a, a certain date. Now calls for more open immigration between Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the UK are gaining momentum. An online petition has attracted nearly 70,000 signatures. Those four nations are so similar to each other, have so much in common. We kind of, we feel like we should be able to, to move around as freely as possible. The number of Australians granted visas to work in the UK is up 11 per cent, but over the long term, immigration from Australia is down. The petition will eventually be handed to politicians here in London, where there is already some support for the UK to be kinder to its Commonwealth cousins. We all pay taxes, we work hard. Before eventually returning home. In London, Hugh Whitfeld, 7 News.